Greetings guys, gals, non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you are fighting, because there is a lot to be fighting for. As usual, there'll be a link in the description to the page on my website with a bunch of petitions, donations, emails to send to NPs, etc, etc. Now, I make a lot of content that is focused more on the negative side of people, such as, you know, misogyny and homophobia and things like that. And it's all very good fun to laugh at bigotry. But I thought today we'd take a little bit of a break and do something a bit more, a bit more wholesome. And that is looking through lesbian TikToks. Because I don't think, I don't think I have to explain why I'm going to do that. Now, before I get into it, uh, I just want to be a proper YouTuber and say, did you know that 50% of you aren't subscribed? That's such a sh- that's- you're, you're missing out. 50% of you, obviously. I'm great, so... Subscribe. <laughs> As you should. I mean, if you're- if you're in a car and you're telling someone to move and they don't, I feel like that that is- Legally, you have every right to run them over. I realize that can be, that can be used against me. <laughs> Absolutely. Hate speech warrants being hit by a car. Yeah. Yeah, that seems right. If you're out on the street spreading hate and saying people should die and then you stand in front of a car, I feel like it's just karma. They say when you meet the love of your life, time stops. That's just wholesome, and I'm very happy for them. That was so cute. Aw. Congratulations! There's a power in what you do Now every other day I've been watching you oh. Was that the same person? No. I don't know what I just watched, but I'm in love with both of them. That's really the only thing I can say about that. So when I was 16, I used to work in a grocery store. And How do you function with nails like that? Especially if you're tagging it hashtag lesbian. I don't quite understand. And we had one customer that always came in who was very obviously mentally ill. And one day I was bagging her groceries and she said to me, don't you wish it was back to the cotton picking days? And I was like, Mm. And she was like, don't you wish it was back to the cotton picking days? And I was like, as in slavery? And she was like, yes. And I was like, why the fuck would you ask me that? And my manager was like, what's going on? And I was like, I'm gonna have to step away before I throw punch an elderly woman. And she was like, Okay, go in the break room. A week later, we found out that woman had a heart attack and died. And I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. I've heard that audio a few times, and every time, I, I don't understand. What goes through your head? That in that that what goes through your head that inspires you to ask a person of color, don't you wish that you were a slave? Huh? Huh? I I just don't understand. What answer do you expect? As well, right? Like. Don't you- don't you wish it was the cotton picking days? Don't you wish that- that I owned you? Yeah, surely you do. What do you ex what do you expect? I can't say that I feel bad that she died a week later. Uh, you know? We love karma. And also, I love her makeup. Her nails are beautiful, but I am greatly confused as to how. Also, I really hope that she's single. <laughs> or at least just take a couple of them off. You know? Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Wait, we got the poppers. Ah! 
Oh my god! Are you serious right now? I love you so much. Will you marry me? Are you serious right now? Yes, honey. Proposals are so cute. They're so cute. They just make my heart really warm. Oh, I want a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here like I'm totally happy and complacent being single. It's been great having time to myself, figuring myself out. I'm so glad that I'm single. And then I see shit like that and I'm like, am I just lying to myself? I'm fine. I'm fi I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm happy being single, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm su I'm super I'm super happy being lonely. <laughs> Why am I actually crying? <laughs> <laughs> Drop a like if you want to date me. <laughs> oh, you're picking one lucky winner. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. <gasps> oh, I hate myself. One, two, three. Not lesbians doing gender reveal parties. No. <laughs> no. Oh, we lost him. We lost them. I thought we could. I thought we could leave this with the cis heads. Why did? No shade. Do what you want, but why? <laughs> gender reveal parties are so stupid. Okay, cool, you want to have a celebration, but like, it's weird to celebrate the genitals of your baby. The only reason that it would make a difference is that you're like, hey, we get to enforce this specific personality on our child and raise it in a slightly different way with different colors. I feel like if we don't do that and we raise all our children the same, that'd be ideal. So can we leave, please leave gender reveal parties somewhere else. We're not taking them into 2021. We're leaving them behind. I thought the gays had my back on this one. No shade to these women. They seem lovely. They do. But like, why? I'm Stan and I was wrong. I'm singing the Stan wrong song. I shouldn't have taken that chance. Now here's my remorseful dance. Do the kick! <laughs> and it's okay to get it wrong. You'll figure it out one day. And even if you don't, it's fine. We're all on a journey. We all go through different phases of our lives. Our attraction levels change and that's chill. We change forever and that's okay. Especially since, you know, I feel like this is a common problem a lot of lesbians have. Everyone talks about how much they hate men, including straight women. So I feel like you can think that you like men by hating men because everyone hates men. Did that make any sense? it made sense. I think a lot of lesbians think that they're bi for a long time. But it's okay. You can come out as bi and then later realize that you're lesbian, or you can come out as bi and later realize that you're straight, or you can come out as lesbian and realize that you're bi or ace or whatever. You can be whoever you want. You can change your mind. It's not all just to figure it out and everything is solved thing. Sexuality is very fluid and something that can take a long time to figure out. And I'm very proud of this woman for figuring herself out and accepting who she is and knowing that it's okay to be wrong. Not all girls are raving bloody lesbians, you know. That is a misfortune that I'm perfectly well aware of. <laughs> Too real. Do you know what I would give to not be attracted to men? Lesbians win. They win at everything. The power lesbians hold for just not needing men at all, or wanting to, oh. Lesbians, you are superior. You have surpassed the need for men, and I bow to you. I bow to you. Can I please have some of that? Just to be clear, I'm not trying to invalidate anyone's sexuality. It is totally cool to have a preference for men. That's fine, you do you. I'm not invalidating your preferences. I am someone who's dated more men than women and non-binary people by a decent amount. So I understand, there's no problem with that. The problem is, is that I'd, <laughs> I'd rather not, personally. So lesbians, I bow to you. I do, I really do. You truly are superior. On that, 
I'm gonna leave it there, I think. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along. I know it was a bit different. Uh, I hope that you've had a good time. I hope that you enjoyed a bit more of wholesome content. Let me know if you wanna see more content like this that's a bit easier, a bit more lighthearted, just to sort of cheer you up if you're feeling a bit down, maybe. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. I am here every three days. And I wanna say a massive thank you to my Kiwi Fruit channel members, Rory, Olivia, Wolf, Cherry, Evelyn, Anna, Sandra, Elliot, Script, Humble Production, Jeffrey, Bup to the Bottom, Anna H, Elia, Hannah, Linka Player for Real, Claire, September, and Sammy. Thank you so, so much for joining. I love and appreciate you endlessly. Thank you. If you would like to become a channel member, you get my videos a day early, as well as 10% off my shop. And you can join by hitting the blue button down below or the link in the description. Thank you so, so much for coming. Once again, I always say it about 7 million times. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. <laughs>